Hi everyone, Steve here and let's talk about preparing a big program for a concert. And so you have a lot of pieces. How do we do this? Uh, what do I recommend from experience? And let's look at a few things. So let's say you have a program of, let's just say an hour, for example, of, you know, different pieces. Could be like three pieces of 20 minutes or more or less, or it could be like 10 shorter pieces, you know, it doesn't really matter. So the most important thing uh, that, that I found to make the biggest difference, and I think most professional pianists would say the same, is to play or we say run through the program for somebody. Every time you play it for someone or perform it, it makes a difference in the performance. You'll find it makes a huge difference. Especially, you probably notice this the most when you play a program, or usually we say break a program. So that's like playing something that you've never played before. It's not really good. But if you've played it many times, let's say it's the 10th time that you play this recital program, you're very comfortable with it. You feel like you have it in your fingers and it's much better. You just play it very well. So what you can do is start playing the program for people. It doesn't have to be like a concert or a recital or anything serious. It could be for a group of friends or it could be just for a friend. Could be for your mom, could be for a neighbor, really could be anyone. Even if there's no one around you, what you can do is film yourself. So put a camera and just film yourself, play the, play the program. It kind of puts that sort of pressure on you so you feel like you have to actually play the piece from start to finish in such a way that's like, you know, as, as good as possible to listen to. So your piano teacher does not count because you play for your piano teacher all the time. It should be someone, I mean, you could play for your mom all the time, but of course, if it's someone that you don't normally play for, that's when it's really the best. So that's the first thing. Now let's say, okay, well, just to wrap this up, let's say you play your program like that for somebody 10 times, you'll feel very different during the concert, even if it's just once. Maybe you do that five times, you'll find it makes a big difference. So what's gonna happen is you play the program and you find there's some really obvious places in the whole program. Maybe you see like, well, this piece is pretty good. Maybe just work on the end a little bit. This piece here, I really like couldn't get through. I need to work on that one the most. And then in, in this piece here, there's a couple of sections too. So what happens is it becomes really obvious after playing through the program, what are the places that you need to, to work on the most? The places which say need the most amount of work, or in other words, probably like the worst part of when you were playing through or the parts that you were the least happy with. So that starts to happen. So after each time you play it through, you have those places, then you work through them. You start working through those places. They get better then that's fine. You play the program again. You play it for somebody. And again, you have like a couple of places. It might be the same places. They could be entirely different. It could be even worse than before in a completely different piece or place. That's fine. That's great, actually, because you're dealing with those little insecurities and weaknesses in your program, places where you're not really solid. So that's what's happening. Every time you play it through, you, you notice the areas that are not so good, that are, let's say, let's just say the worst or the weakest, you work on them and then you play through again and you keep doing that and you'll find that very quickly, by the time you get to maybe the third time, you have a much stronger program. So how do you get to even being able to do that? Let's say you have a big program Maybe you haven't even learned all the pieces, but you're like months ahead preparing. Well, what you do is start to play through things that you know. It doesn't always have to be for someone. You know, that's someone thing you could do just for yourself. Even that's going to help. You want, you want to have like, you know, a week before the concert, or let's say maybe two weeks before the concert or recital or prestation, whatever. You want to be able to execute the entire program through maybe three times a week. Probably don't have to do that every day. It just becomes a little redundant and, and it, it makes you a little like 
sick of playing the same music all the time. So spend most of your time practicing working on the, those little sections, the places that need the most maintenance, places that need the most work. And then you have, you know, like two or three times a week, you work, uh, you, you run through the entire program. That's a very good idea. So then you feel like, you know, you're really like able to do it. You're able to execute the program when it's time, when it comes time to actually be on stage and do it, you're able to execute it. So playing just for yourself, that gives you that feeling like, okay, I'm able to execute the program. And then playing for people, that will actually increase the quality of what you're doing on stage because you're used to playing the music for people. So that's it, folks. Uh, that's it for playing, you know, preparing a large program. It's, it's a big thing to do. So play it for people. You'll find it makes a big difference. Something that might come up with for someone is... You don't want to play it. This is not everyone. Okay. This will be some people in specific. You don't want to play the program through for someone because you feel a little insecure on it, which is kind of, I want to say right off the bat, it's ridiculous. And you probably know that because you're going to have to play it anyway for the concert or recital. So you just got to get over that. A recording is very good. We've said that. Let's see. What else can we look at for preparing a big program? Maybe just ask some questions if you have any. And when you come to my masterclass, you can also do that. There's going to be a masterclass in Montreal on the 7th of October. It's quite a while away, but that will be happening here in Montreal at Piano André Baduc. So stay tuned. Until then, happy practicing. Take care.